Hey everyone, it's Clint from Canadian Cannabis Culture back with another review. Today we are looking at uh, my first pre-roll uh, that I've reviewed. Um, I've never been a big fan of pre-rolls, but uh, as you can see, I picked this one up a couple times now and, and I'm actually a big fan of it. So uh, I'll probably start doing some more in the future. Uh, I wanted to start with this one though because I like it so much. Um, also, Ignite, I'm obviously a big fan of. And um, the Gorilla Glue right now, I can't find it on the shelves as far as in the flower form. And I wanted to review it for you guys, like I've said. So uh, I figured, you know, why not just get the pre-roll for now until uh, their, their new products come out on shelves. Um, okay, so this one is sitting at 22.4% uh, THC. Uh, Gorilla Glue number four is a sativa dominant bred by crossing a variation of diesel strains. I believe it's like four different crosses, including Sour Dub and Sour Diesel. Uh, Gorilla Glue number four features hints of sweetness mixed with a sharp and sour flavor. Buds are said to offer dark forest and olive green leaves with shades of orange and are also encrusted with a thick layer of resin that shines bright between wiry amber pistols or hairs. The dominant terpene profile for Gorilla Glue number four is uh, caryophylline. Limonin and myrcene, which is a really good combination for myself. I love all three of those terpenes. The strain is grown by Apollo Green in uh, Ottawa, Ontario for Ignite. And this particular one here was packaged uh, October 15th, 2020, so not super old. And if you're looking to invest in Ignite, they're under the parent company Ignite International Brands, LTD, which I'll have on the screen. Okay, so let's get a look at it here. Basically, it just comes in a little tube that's inside the box. Boom. It's got all the specs on the tube. Pops open. Boom. One half, half gram joint. Um, like I said, I haven't done a, a lot of uh, or any reviews on pre-rolls yet. Um, I have had a couple different ones though, but this one is definitely uh, well rolled. It's nice and tight. Um, and it's got a nice filter on it. Uh, okay, so now that we've learned a little bit about the Grill Glue number four pre roll by Ignite, uh, the last thing I got to do is test it out for a reading. So I'll go do that and I'll be right back. Guys, uh, after testing out the Gorilla Glue number four pre-roll by uh, Ignite, really, really like this one. If you guys see it in stores, definitely recommend picking it up to try it out. Um, it's probably my favorite Gorilla Glue that I've ever tried. Um, obviously, I haven't seen the buds, but it uh, has a really, really good taste. So it's kind of sweet, almost like a wedding cake, similar to that. Um, but it definitely has like a sweet taste uh, with a bit of like a sour finish, which is uh, super, super nice. I love it. Definitely has like those diesel, uh, the diesel lineage. Yeah, so the effects on it were really good. Uh, it burns really, really well in the pre-roll. Rolled really well. It's nice and tight. Like I said, the taste on it is good. Uh, it's very smooth. And the ash on it burns uh, really, really light and white. So it's, it's really, really clean. Overall, this has to be my favorite pre-roll on the market right now. Um, I haven't tried a lot of them, but uh, this is definitely my go-to. So I'm gonna rate this one a 9.2 out of 10. Till next time, guys.